Good morning, happy Wednesday, my friends. I didn't let you know that I was painting this morning because I wasn't sure, life's been a little crazy and I'm not quite keeping up, but I am, I got up really early. I feel like I've had almost a whole day already today. So I am ready to paint and looking forward to it. Welcome everybody. So happy, happy Wednesday. Um, let me show you what I have ready to paint here. Um, painting some tulips. So these are a few tulips that I got at Good Morning Emerson. Good morning, Ellen. I bought some a little bouquet of tulips at Market on Saturday. Good morning, Martha. Hi, Carolyn. Oh, it's nice to see all of you. I would miss this. I do miss this whenever I don't do it, but I think I've only ever missed like once or twice a year, right? Usually when I'm on vacation. But these tulips that I bought at market, they were a pretty little bouquet, but they were tiny. Like this vase that I photographed them in is only like this big. So they were itty bitty tulips, but they look monstrous, don't they? They're so fun. Hi, Susie. So I think it'll be fun. My goal with this is to keep it really loose and fun. Always. That's always my goal with maybe big, chunky brush strokes and not getting lost in the detail. But no, that's not anything new. That's always my goal. And it might always be my goal. Right? It just may always be. So, and I put some funky colors out here on my palette. I'm just going to try with whatever is here. So I really just need some neutrals. I'm trying to decide. I might just do an overall wash. I don't want to do Indian yellow because it's such a serious color. Like it skews everything so much. But maybe I'll do. Um, I do have a burnt sienna out of a sorry burnt sienna. And I think it's transparent. I'm not sure it doesn't say on here but maybe I'll figure that out now and either do that or or my um permanent rose anyway I'm just babbling one that might happen this morning but I need pinks greens browns mm, that's about it so let's mix some colors hi Sherry are you home from France from Paris so Sherry gave me this beautiful palette. Isn't it gorgeous? I absolutely love it. And the card she gave me fell into my paint. Did I tell you this? I don't even remember when it happened, but I absolutely love this card with all these dabs of paint on it. So I'm just trying to be very careful with it till it dries and I'm keeping it just as is. Somehow it's, it's just too fun that it's a piece of her, her sculpture that fell into my paint. I don't know. I love little random things that happen. The burnt sienna idea. Yeah, let me try that, Caroline, because I really am wanting to embrace my greens more. Got in last night. Fa I'm sure it was fabulous, Sherry. Sherry went with her daughter and granddaughter to Paris for a long weekend, right? How could it not be fabulous? My goodness. What a, what a trip of a lifetime to do that. So do we think this burnt sienna is transparent? Let me put a little bit out here. Get a brush and... I'm going to use liquid today. I don't know if that is. Ah. What's if I put a touch of this in it? Maybe that's what I'll do. I do. You know what? Even if it's not transparent, who cares, right? We're playing and learning and that's okay. That's always my goal. So let's, let's just do it now. <clears throat> I have to find my, here it is. I was writing a blog post this morning on building habits. So hopefully I will, I'm going to figure out my darker color there first. Um, get that blog post up today. I started the thought I'm working, doing morning pages. Have you ever heard of that? It's from the artist's way book. I'm going to put a little bit of shiprock out here too. And I've been working on that, and this blog post came from what I write in the morning. Usually I'm just babbling like I am now, but anyway. I'm trying to get like that more of a brown color that's in the background there. Maybe it needs a little red in it. I'm not sure. I really want to work on 
creating browns that I love. Look how purple that went already. I don't want it so purple. I have done The Artist Way several times. Great book, yes. I, I've tried it several times. I can't say I've done it several times. I keep um, starting, and that's one of those things of building habits. I start, and then it doesn't stick. And then I try again. Okay, I'm going to take a little. This is yellow ochre, another color I don't use very often. Love the morning pages. Get your inner babble out, yes. And I've got so, so much of that. It, yeah, it's a habit I am definitely going to do my best to build. So my blog post about that. Uh, that's getting there. Okay, I'll keep some of that and do more of this yellow ochre in there. I think that's closer to a color. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. That's what I was looking for. That's what I wanted. Maybe a little bit more yellow ochre. I never use this color, but um, I plan to use some colors that I don't normally use, push myself out of my comfort zone. All those things are scary, fun, and important. So what's new with everybody today? Oh, that's really nice. Um... I've been not quite keeping up. I've had <clears throat> some crazy stuff going on in my world with my mother-in-law and keeping her happy and healthy and <clears throat> haven't been able to keep up with all my regular stuff. But hopefully things will get better. All right, so now I need... I'm going to do greens for the stems. And they're very muted and subdued. So maybe a little bit, I have a gray out here. I'll add that in. Oops, there's like a little, I feel like there's something lumpy in here, but I don't see it. Okay, that's good. I need to go lighter. What's your surface that I'm mixing on? This is a piece of marble. Like, from like a countertop. That is too green. So how do I want to make that less green? I either have to mix in more gray or the complement up. Right now, I think I'm going to put a little more gray in and see where it takes us. That didn't do much, did it? Um, but I don't hate that. I'm going to pull some of that up here. Maybe I'll do a touch of red in there. I don't want to put too much, but that will desaturate it. It will make it less green. Let's see how this looks. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Okay, put that up here. Now I need, for down in the bottom of the vase, there's gray, but it's kind of, um, I don't know what it is. It's a little purple. I'm just putting some dark colors in there. Whoops. I feel like my whole thing's going. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Irma. Hi, Irma. Wednesday. Good morning, Irma. Our Wednesday friends. Purple. How do I desaturate? I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Oh, add this Rousseau green into this and see if that. Yeah, that's a nice dark. I like it. It's similar to the color I have up there. Now I need to lighten it a little bit. Let's just kind of make a light neutral color. I need to put more of those colors out. I'm sorry, my, I don't know how to keep my phone from bouncing around. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I like that color. I'll put that up here. That's very nice. And then even lighter. And then I can mix some pinks. And then we're good to go. So the bad thing about getting up so early this morning is my coffee's almost all finished. 
He's a little disappointed when coffee time is over. It's kind of like it means you have to start the day or something. All right. <laughs> Even though it already started, right? So what's new? Is anybody working on anything fun or exciting right now? I just found out I got into a show that I've never done before in Westport, Connecticut. So I'm pretty excited about that. It'll be, it's always scary to do a, a new show that you've never done before because there's so many unknowns, but it's also how you learn. I think that'll be exciting. So I need a, the darks of the flowers. Just do a tad of that violet. Oh, that's nice. I want to make some nice muted pinks. Allie, on a road trip right now, watching from the car. Where are you going? I, um, I've never been to Westport. No, wait, let me see. Is it very hard to mix the same color if one you're preparing now is empty? Um, it is tricky. It is something you can kind of build the habit of being good at, but actually it's better just to mix more color than you think you're going to need. Like this is plenty for what I'm doing, but I have that trouble when I'm working on a large painting, not knowing how long I will work on the painting, or how much paint to mix up. Like I have to get that kind of a little bit more under control, but I'm learning. So it can be tricky. There are times when I wish I would keep better track when I mix a color up that I absolutely love and then I can't remember how I made it. But I think that would take too much of the fun out of it for me to have to like stop and write things down all the time. That's so not my personality. When I'm in the moment, I don't feel like like documenting anything. Yeah, Allie, where are you off to? That's fun. Gold leaf paintings. Not gold. <laughs> what did you say about gold leaf? I do love gold leaf. Um, okay, so white. I need like kind of a greenish. There's like a pop of yellowish greenish in the one tulip that I need. An animal sanctuary in Tennessee. Oh, how fun, Allie. Are you going by yourself? Who's with you? Is your husband going along? Oh, that's that pop right there. I love that. And maybe a little lighter. Let that be our like one pop of like a sexy color. And so we have pinks. I could use maybe a little bit more of this kind of neutral. I'm gonna grab just a little bit of this color. That's nice. Really nice. Um, love the lime green. I do too, Jennifer. Isn't it pretty? Started doing an art journal and a fragment journal. Ooh, what's a fragment journal? Where you just put down bits of thoughts? My brain's always fragmented. That'd probably be good for me. <laughs> I feel like my art pages, I'm trying to unfragment myself, but I guess that if that's your natural way of thinking, which it probably is mine, I'll just put some white out here too. I think that's a pretty palette. You're such a generous, loving soul lighting up lives of the animal kingdom. You sure are. Animals. Lucky to have you. Pry is home. Missing you, huh? She doesn't get to watch today. Paint with gouache. Need a class. Oh, <laughs> I haven't used gouache. I think I have some here. I did find it. I, when I went to college, we used to have to do like marker comps and things, and we had to use gouache. So I used to paint with gouache a lot, but I don't anymore. Carolyn, on your large paintings, could you could videotape yourself mixing your colors. Then if you needed to mix more, you could view it as a reminder. Oh my gosh, Carol Ann, that is so smart. And I think I probably do that. I just, I need to just show myself the tube as I go. But you know me, I have like 30,000 things on my phone. I'd never find the right one, but I could try that. That is a good idea. 
A fragment journal is a collection of bits and pieces that you collected and makes a book. I'll pop a link below. Thank you. Oh, I see it there. You'll have to message that to me because I don't get to see these comments later. Fragment art journal. Yeah, I was working in my journal a little bit too. I've been itching for that lately. A little journaling time. It's hard to find the time to do all the things, but I always try. Hi, Kathy. All right, so I'm going to try doing my background. I'm using the Burnt Sienna and just a touch of Permanent Rose as my background. Here we go. I want to make sure I have this one here the right way I do. it's pretty right <laughs> okay I'm done sometimes I love them just this simple all right let me just mark out where some of my lightest areas are and off we will go this is going to be a fun one bouncing around is crazy. I'm like painting and holding my phone steady at the same time. I have to fix that problem. Okay. There's a little bit of light back here. That's pretty fun, isn't it? Now I need a little bit of pigment sticks for fun, because that's fun is the whole point. Oops, knocking over my, I already had oil paint on my neck and had to clean it off myself this morning. Ugh, how did that happen? So I'm just kind of mapping in where things are going to go. With my pigment sticks. Which paper towels did you... Oh, I used the Viva. I love them. Love my Vivas. Love that background under color. Caroline, yeah, it does look good. Looks cool already, Ali said. Thank you. And this is my new pigment stick. So in Inspiring Art today, we're going to explore pigment sticks. And one of the things... This is a new color that I got. It's um, cadmium coral. It's so pretty. Might become... A regular for me. Isn't that pretty? Of course, all my pigment sticks are dirty. And I got this other new one. It is Quinacridone Magenta Light. It's a pale purple. Green over here. And of course, I always like to use a little bit of this malachite green just because it's a fun pop of color. I was just at Blix and couldn't remember what the pigment sticks were called. Oh, <laughs> you should have messaged me. They're the RNF pigment sticks. They usually have a nice selection at Blix. At least the one in Pittsburgh has a good selection of them. So 
that good? Am I missing anything? Oh, the blue. I like this blue too. Oh, the pigment sticks are oil paint. And yeah, they, um, yeah, they're oil. I was going to say something, but I have no idea what it was. There, I think that's good. It's fun. It's happy. All I ever go for. If it's not fun, why do it? And the older I get, that's, I think, that. What substrate? This is um, an ampersand gesso board, and it's a raised panel. So they come flat or raised. And this one's raised. I have it on painted gold on the sides, and I already have it wired and ready to hang. I'm going to use my larger brush and try and stick with it. We'll see how it goes. Oops. I need a sip of my coffee. Where's everybody listening from this morning? I think I might be having a two coffee day today. All right, so I usually start with my darker colors. Um... New Orleans, Egypt, wow, Michigan, Centerville, Ohio, New Jersey, Long Island, Florida, Delaware. I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Cape Town, Allen Park. What is the color you use on the sides? Oh, Kathy, it's um, Michael Harding's gold, I think it's a gold gesso. Um, comes in a little, little, uh container everything comes in a container a uh, <laughs> like a little little pot write to me if you want me to send you that Brooklyn New York listening from mid coast of Maine I bet it's pretty there driving Allie's driving through Maryland yeah that's a long drive Allie I didn't see are you going by yourself or do you have somebody with you Brazil. Wow. Brazil. That's so fun. Whoops. Knocking everything. <laughs> A small but loud group of six. Wow. Oh, that's so fun. What a fun adventure. How long will you be gone? I'm itching for a road trip. This is here. Canada. We're on the North North Carolina coast. I'm at Top Sail Beach. Judy, how are you? My college roommate is moving somewhere near Top Sail Beach. So I may make it down your way eventually. You know, we've always had that goal. I'd love to see where you live. About a week. Oh, and I love that about part. Like, I don't know that I've ever gone away and not known when I'm coming home. About a week. Or does that mean you do know exactly when you're coming home? You just saying that. Wouldn't it be fun just to hop in the car and go on a trip and be like, well, whenever I get home. Yes, I would love that. You're on my list, Judy. I do want to come see you. All right. Keeping it loose. Here I am. I feel like I'm getting to thoughts and the details. I even like some of the pinks or that color showing through in the background there. If 
for our honeymoon, we drove cross country without any real plans. Oh, that's so neat. I love that. What an, I've never done anything like that. I've never drove, driven across country. I do have a fun um, trip coming up to go to uh, Yosemite with some friends. So I'm quite excited about that. It's something I would never even choose to do. And now I'm getting excited to see it. I want to let. I love all those bits of color. I don't want to lose them. That does sound fun. I was, wish I was with you. I love a good adventure. Chunky colors. That's how my husband and I travel. That's so cool, Irma. of the form transitions. Yes, I have to like take my time and not get um no, no I want to keep it loose. And look at my lights and darks. This one green that I mixed might be a little too bright. We're doing a 45-day, holy cow, Carolyn, 45-day cross-country trip to Oregon and back later this year in our little RV. That's so neat. I love it. Even before cell phones and GPS, that was back in the day when you'd either do, a, uh, what were those maps you'd print out? I'd hold it in my lap in the car. Um, gosh, I can't even remember what it's called. Or pulling out the paper map out of the glove box when you're lost to figure out where you need to go. That's always a fun adventure. <clears throat> Trip ticket. That is so cool. Trip ticket or map quest. I think that's what I'm thinking of. And I think that was a company from here in Lancaster. like trip ticket. That's a fun name. <clears throat> yeah, the paper maps. Yep, I'm still good at that. But like our kids don't even know how to read paper maps. I guess they'll maybe never have to. <clears throat> and even if they did, like they're not in our cars anymore. I, I might still have a map in my car, paper map. <clears throat> Do I like that? I think I like it very much. <clears throat> Folding the map. Yeah, you can never fold it back to quite the same way that it started, right? Nor did I ever care to get it back to what it started looking like. Just this little bit of something right there. Folding those darn maps. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay. What's what's going on here? Let me think about what I'm doing. I'm busy thinking about maps and not my painting. <laughs> There's a little green up there. It's quite fun. I'd like to look that stay. My brother has a lot of those maps. He does. Does he collect maps? <clears throat> um, I need a little shadow color right there. A bit of this is all kind of in shadow. Oops, I'm getting too detailed. <coughs> oh, he traveled across country. That's neat. 
That does sound like a really cool thing to do. I've traveled across California, kind of, from San Francisco to San Diego. I guess that kind of counts, but that was so long ago. That's a little green up there. Mm. I'm reminding myself to take my time. Take my time. Why that's always so hard. Um, I think I need to do a little bit of my background color here and my vase. Half an hour still to go and it looks beautiful already. Thank you, Martha. Ellie says, this looks so dreamy. Thank you. Dreamy. I love that. And I want to put my brush strokes and leave them. I keep doing that thing where I work into it, and I don't want to be doing that. I'd been painting some um, Philadelphia soft pretzels the last couple of days. That was a fun change from flowers. Flowers are my first true love, but it is fun to try different things. I do like that color showing through in the background. This might be a little fussy right here. Yeah, I like all the strokes. That's my goal is to keep it um, filled with all the strokes. I think it is the pop of the green complimentary color that makes the corals sing. Yes. Do I have some of my corals still showing? I feel like I sort of covered it. Maybe I need to pop a little more coral in there just because it's a new color, if for no other reason. I can also pull some paint away if I want to with my fun little tool. Yeah, that's good. Do I need to pull a little bit away? Let's do it just for fun. Just for fun. Sorry, I stopped talking. Um, when I'm holding my breath, when I'm doing something that's detailed like this and I don't want to mess it up, I hold my breath and forget to talk. All right, that looks good. I'm just going to put that away.
And the further you get into a painting, when you want to, like, want to uh, keep the bits that are magical and not mess them up, like, the more you have to, like, think about where your strokes are going. In the beginning, I'm very loose about it. Oh, I was using, it's a, a, a little bully clip with a, a piece of, like, rubber um, from a scraper in it. So I just pulled paint away. You could use like a, one of these wipeout tools. I must have one here somewhere. I have to get used to I've lately been painting on two different easels. Um, like you could use that too. It just pulls the paint away from the surface. And if you let it set up for a little bit um, when you do it, some of the color underneath will show and won't go to white. I love that too. I want it to look like a vase, just suggestion of its vaseness, vase, or vase, what do you say? I always say vase, but I don't know if it's, is that a French, is that the French term for it, a vase? Or is it a vase? Vase. Vase is more fun. Okay, so am I happy with that? Is there too much pink showing through? I don't know if there is such a thing ever as too much pink. Not in my world. All right, I need a sip of my coffee to look at it. Tina says, Kim, this is lovely. Thank you, Tina. This edge is too hard right there. My eye was going to that, and I didn't want it to. Okay. Pull out some of my and if you use a big brush it forces you really to and Deb says background is exceptionally lovely today I love the colors yeah I love the looseness that's what I was aiming for I don't always get there but right now I'm there I just can't go <laughs> like pass pass through it and end up where I mess it up. Like sometimes you can work on something and then after a while you look at it and you're like, what happened to that magic middle? That's usually the messy middle, but today I like my middle. What was the color that you toned the canvas with? Jennifer, I used a mix of burnt sienna with a touch of um, permanent rose. I'm trying to think what I'm doing next here. This just has a touch of green in there. Just that little bit of green. I feel like I need a smaller brush, but I don't want to go to a smaller brush. I'm going to force myself to keep it big. Good on time. Get rid of a little bit of that orange in there. Um, making that a little bit of a lost edge right there. I love when there's a bit where like the vase, if it blends into the background and you don't know where one starts and the other one ends, it's just a, a just tiny hint of it. It just kind of, that's how things really look. I love this looseness, me too. 
and how bold the colors are. It's fun. So I think I could probably work on my lightest lights. I'm just about ready. Um, because, yes, this is always my goal to keep it this loose, so I don't want to it okay <clears throat> That pedal up there, it's, that's very kind of complicated, and I want to suggest it without um, I want to suggest it without getting too detailed with it. Um, she said what great inspiration thank you it's always my goal great inspiration do I need more green do I leave it as is it's hard to know like I see a million things I could do, but now's the decision time when I have to decide whether or not it's going to make my painting better or just different. And if it's just making it different, then it's time to stop. Yes, people are saying, just stop. Yes, beautiful. All right, I just need, I think, just two more little strokes. I have some tulips in the fridge waiting to be painted. Oh, I love that. I guess I should have put these in the fridge. They just, they didn't even open. But I like them just the way they are. Worked out just fine. Whoops, got a big chunk there. I needed just this little kiss and then I think I'm done right here. See enough. Yeah, that was my lost edge. Oh, uh, what's something's wonky about this side? No, wait. Now stop fussing, Kim. Now wait one second. I think I need to just. Give up my lost edge there. It felt like there was, it felt crooked right there crooked okay that helped that have an edge it's very fun do you see anything I've missed or need to pay attention to before we call it a day but I love that colors showing through in the background um, and this t 
time to do a quick studio tour of my studio. Oh my goodness. It's pretty messy. I guess I could do a teeny tiny studio tour, but I guess we all have messy studios, right? You're not going to judge me. I'm going to stop because I love the way it looks and I feel like if I push it too far, I'm going to lose all that little magic stuff going on in there. More shadow on the left. More shadow in here or in here? If anything, I could do just... And there's always something else you could do, right? I could do... That little give that a little bit more um, of an edge here. That's what I needed. See how I'm changing it, but not making it better? Put your brush down, Kim. Now wait, now that got too. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Now wait, now I still see some front tulip a little dark in the shadow. This one is too dark down here, you think? <laughs> I could just keep going forever. There, I think that helped. Okay. I'm going to stop. So, it's a, whoops, so fun. So, there's my reference image. And then look at all those fun bits of color in there. That's exactly what I wanted to do. There's my palette that you watched me mix. And I'll give you a very quick studio tour. It's very messy, I'll warn you. There's my little... Um, I've been working on some really fun, this is my new holder for my iPad. I'm working on some pretzels for, whoops, Philadelphia. There's another painting. I've been having so much fun and now an inspiring art today. I'm gonna work on um, using pigment sticks. So I coated a piece of paper um, oil paper with um, gesso and then I was also working in my sketchbook a little bit this morning. Oh, I'll show you a little bit of this. To turn it. It gets so thick that I can't even close my pages. But this is my little sketchbook that I love working in. I put these little slip sheets of glassine on them to protect them because then they stick together. It's, the lighting's not very good. Anyway, so that's what I do when I just want to play and have fun. And over there's my area where I do my work at my computer, which I still spend a lot of time doing during my day. A lot of time. Um, and my scanner's underneath here. This is a piece of a painting on a piece of paper that I was playing with. And then here's, <laughs> look how messy it is. This is my shipping area with my cutting board. And um, I have a bunch of paintings I need to pack up and send out today. My Peloton, I need to ride that today, hopefully. It sits behind me to keep me inspired to work out. And a lot of my little paintings. And there's more over there. And I have some big paintings stacked. So it is undoubtedly my happy place to be. So that was your little tour. I hope you liked it. Sorry for the mess. Um, with 10 minutes to spare. How fun is that? So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I will save this. I'll put it up um, on my YouTube channel. Be sure to go like it and give me a little thumbs up. Um, and then I'm going to write my blog post. I have a newsletter. Hopefully I'll send that out today if I have enough time to get it done, which that's my goal. So if you're not on my newsletter list and you'd like to be, just message me your email and I'd be happy to add you. 
And if you're in my inspiring art group, I will be seeing you at 11. So thanks for coming, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.